Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a Poshmark What Sold video. Don't leave. These things sell on eBay also. All of my items are cross posted to eBay, Mercari, and um, eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark, except for the items that Poshmark does not allow. But what I wanted to say is these items just happen to sell on Poshmark first. So this will give you an idea of what items sell well and faster on Poshmark, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. That is the basis of my whole channel. If you guys are new, be sure to check out my category Bolo videos, videos like about um, like things that you can find in the bathroom that are Bolos, things you can find in the garage. I have a Christmas bolo video. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a delay, so sorry if I am. Uh, Halloween video, Easter, I've got tons of bolo videos. Uh, I feature sellers, other YouTubers, other people that are in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, so definitely check out my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Links are down below in the description of the video. And I have said enough, let's look at these what sold. All right, what sold on Poshmark? Let's do this. Okay. And the first item I sold is this, well, I should say my husband sold. This is one of his items. It's a Caravel men's watch. So he sold this for $40. And on Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping unless you send an offer with a discount, which um, I don't know if I did or not. So the next item are these lot of 14 men's ties. I have a bunch of lots of men's ties. So if anybody is looking for men's ties, I have them listed in my Poshmark closet. I purchased these from a moving sale. I wish now that I would have done smaller lots or maybe sold them individually, but at this point I'm not starting over. So these sold for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I bought the whole box for $5 and there was probably over a hundred ties. The next item came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, my bulk buy of 344 pounds of jewelry. These earrings are amazing. And this is what they look like on the back. They sold really fast for $40 and the buyer pays shipping on Poshmark. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand. It's Laurel Birch, and these are vintage and very cool. Uh, kids clothes. I uh, talked about this, and I talk about this in several of my videos, but I buy kids clothes at garage sales, and I usually don't piece them out. I usually just say, how much do you want for all of your kids clothes? And then I bring them home, I sort through them. It's quite a task, but they seem to do well on all platforms. So I lot them up in small lots like this. I sold this for $15 and, you know, Poshmark takes 20%. So not a huge profit, but if you can bundle it at a garage sale for one price and get stuff super cheap, it's definitely worth it. Um, and then I just let them know that I have a bunch of kids and baby clothes listed when I do that. So definitely something to think about, something to consider. It, it is a lot of work sorting through the items but um, and making the lots, trying to find the sizes that are the same, but I think it's worth it and it's fun. Well, it's kind of fun. I do it when I'm in the mood. Otherwise they sit and they wait on me. <laughs> the next item are these Lane Bryant pants. These are a retail arbitrage. I picked these up at a discount store for three dollars and i sold them for fifteen dollars and the buyer paid the shipping um i have tons of clothing items in my store if you are a subscriber or if you're watching this i guess uh feel free to check out the links below i have uh, links to all of my selling platforms and if you'd like to make a purchase just make sure that you comment um that you're a subscriber so that i can take a look at your offer all right, this item is a Cacique tank uh, bikini top, and it sold for $25 with the buyer paying shipping, and I picked this up at a discount store for $3. It's super cute. Whoops. The next item are these Express Joggers. This is an older listing because you can see I still have it on the carpet. I picked up 
probably 50 to 100 pair of these at a discount store. I paid about three bucks for them, sold this pair for $18, um, and the buyer paid the shipping. And I have quite a few of these left. So if you're interested, come check out my store. The next item, again, a very old item. You can tell because I have it on the carpet. I don't do that anymore. I sold these for $13 and the buyer paid the shipping. I picked these up for a buck or two at a discount store. I think these were a dollar if I remember correctly and sold them for 13. This is a retail arbitrage uh, item. I paid, I'm gonna say between six and $8 for this. I picked this up online and I sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. Retail arbitrage items, you're not gonna make as much. Um, now, if you're at a discount store and it's on clearance, there, there's bigger margins there, but this was, I bought this online, so. It's new with tags, nothing's black lined. It's like you bought it from the store. The next item is a retail arbitrage, picked it up at a discount store for about three bucks. I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This is new without tags. It does have the sanitary liner in it. This is one of those items where I lost my photos. So, um, oh, nope, I'm sorry. I was thinking I only had one. It was a different listing. But you can see this item is black lined. It does have the sanitary liner, but no tags. So it is new without tags. This is a Victoria's Secret bra discount store, paid about three bucks for it, sold it for 16, buyer paid shipping. These I picked up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. They're Doc Martens. They are a toddler's size six, so they are small. Sold them for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. This Batman ring sold to a subscriber. It is super cool. I think it is vintage and it does have some issues. You can see um, it's got some plate wear and that's fine and dandy. People still um, look for items like these because they're hard to find. I could not find this exact ring when I tried to find comps and I did not clean it up or anything. So it may clean up a little, but just disclose, you know, I put pre-owned does have condition issues, plate wear and discolorations, not sure of age, sold as is, as seen. And again, a subscriber bought this. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying your awesome Batman, wi Batman wing, Batman ring. And I appreciate you. And I thank you for helping support the channel and thumbs up. Thank you so much. I get so excited when my subscribers buy things. Uh, links to all of my stores are down below in the description of the video. Um, this item came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. If you haven't checked out that playlist, definitely do that amazing find. All right, uh, I wanna take a minute to say, please hit that thumbs up. And I wanna show you my Instagram. My Instagram is bolo underscore buddies underscore resellers. And I'm trying to build up my Instagram following. Um, so please come check it out. And I do some different things on there. And I wanted to share that my video where I wore the hat um, from the items that I got free at that garage sale, I decided to list the hat. So it is up for sale in all three on all three platforms. So if you're interested, this is what it looks like. Feel free to make me an offer. And I do do, I do do some different things on Instagram. I post the little videos. I've been trying to incorporate some of the videos into some of the um, unboxings and stuff like that. I put them at the end just for fun but uh, you will definitely see some different stuff, different from my Facebook group, different from my YouTube channel. So definitely go check it out. I make giveaway announcements, different things like that. I show you like how I packaged this item. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I would greatly appreciate it. And I just wanted to give you a little um, shot of that. And Instagram is posted down in the description if you guys wanna go check it out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you all on Instagram soon. All right. This I purchased from Trinox Connection. He was doing an auction on, I believe it was T's channel auctions for you. And he had a North Face lot. And there were a couple of North Face shirts that um, I was interested in for my husband. And I figured I could resell the rest. 
this literally was just in good condition. You know, mow the lawn, rake the leaves type jacket. Um, it's pre-owned, show signs of wear. I just disclosed that. I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this retired Boyd's glass Jeremy frog. I have sold a bunch of these frogs. Um, sold this one for $20. Most of them have sold on eBay, but this little guy sold here on Poshmark. $20 in the buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale and a bulk buy of all these glass um, frogs. So I had, a, I think, a, like a quarter, 30 cents maybe. I can't remember the exact number, but not much. So very happy with that. The next item is this vintage Mary Kay case. I bought these at a garage sale for a dollar each. I had two of them. The other one recently sold. I am very happy to see them go. They, um, I think I had them priced too high. I thought they were more special than they were. This one sold for $25 and buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Jake and the Neverland Pirates outfit. I got this at a garage sale. I think it was a dollar or $2. I can't remember, but um, I sold the other one. I bought two of them. I want to say they were a dollar each. Sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This uh, Hope, Faith, and Live um, wall hangings. I purchased these at a garage sale and, you know, I just did this to show the measurements easy peasy. And then they know, and I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up for like a buck or two at a garage sale. This vintage Asian small handheld mirror. Okay. So I picked, I, I want to say like eight to 10 of these up at a thrift store. I thought about lotting them together and then decided to sell them separately, which I'm glad I did because I'm going to make way more money selling them separately. They are super cool. Um, I want to say that it was like either $8 or $12. For some reason, those two numbers are in my mind. And then I had a 35% off coupon. So I'm going to say I have less than a dollar in this and very cool item. Sold it for $25 buyer paid shipping. This Cacique skirt came from a uh, discount store. So I had about $3 in it. I sold it for 18 buyer paid shipping. Photo album. Great item to sell on um, Poshmark because you pay, if it's five pounds or less, they pay $7.11 shipping. So um, I think on eBay, if the shipping would have been a lot more for a priority mail package based on the dimensions and the weight. So I sold this for $20 in the buyer paid shipping. These cute little London Fog toddler shoes sold for $12. And again, just a pre-owned item. And garage sales, perfect place to get things like this. And these look to be like in really good condition. They're a little dirty on the bottom. But overall, 12 bucks. you know, not a great bolo but definitely an easy to list and flip item this is a um bundle that i sold on poshmark 42 dollars was the offer price so poshmark took eight dollars and 40 cents and my earnings were 33 dollars and 60 cents so this necklace and this necklace came from a i believe it was an estate sale and I've had them listed for quite a while. This is from my bulk buy. Um, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Part of that 344 pounds of jewelry. So I think they probably, I don't know. This was a newer listing. These were older. So I went ahead and took the $42 offer. And I was very happy with that. And I my earnings were $33.60. And I'm going to say I have less than two bucks in all three items. The next item are these bracelets. I don't know, I think I did a video on it. I bought a whole table at an estate sale. I have had this listed for quite a while, but somebody bought these three bracelets for $50 and they paid the shipping. This Victoria's Secret baby doll, I sold for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. I paid $3 for this, but I did have my, the gal that does my consignment stuff, I did like a test run 
of having her list a tote of Victoria's Secret items for me because I just wasn't getting it done. It was a whole tote. I don't remember how many items there were, but um, I paid her, gosh, I can't remember, maybe six, five or six hundred dollars. And she listed all of them. Some of them were duplicates, so that was great. So I'm going to say that I probably ended up having between 50 cents and a dollar for her to list each item. I cannot remember what the breakdown exactly was. I think it was closer to a dollar. Um, so I had about four bucks in this by the time I paid her that extra uh, fee to list the item for me. And typically I just give her my items and she consigns them at a 50 uh, we do a 50-50 split. I give her the items. She does it from start to finish. And then she gives me a 50% payout. Um, this was a little bit different because I just wanted to get these items up in my Poshmark closet. So the next item is this brawl. This was a retail arbitrage. I bought it online, brand new from the store, sold it for $26. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. So I sometimes will source online when I have coupons or when they're having a sale. So that's what I did with this item. This lot was a, um, I think these two were garage sale items cause they are new with, or I'm sorry, they're pre-owned. This was a, um, discount store. I I think I paid $3 for these. And this was a uh, discount store also. And I think I paid a buck for those. So I probably have about $5 total in all of these items. So I went ahead and took a $40 offer. Poshmark took their $8 and I earned $32 on this lot. So for those of you that have made it this far, would you prefer if I showed you like each listing like this, where it shows the breakdown of what I made, but you can't really see the item? Or do you like the way I'm doing it? So comment below. This brawl just sold today. I sold it for $15. I had approximately $3 in it and I picked it up at a discount store. These jeans also sold today. I picked them up at a discount store and about three bucks all in, and I sold it for $25 in the buyer paid shipping. So these are my Poshmark solds. And let me know how you would prefer to see that if you want to see the breakdown of profits, or if you prefer to see the picture bigger so that you can actually see the item. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have Mercari What Sold videos, I have eBay What Sold videos and I have Poshmark what sold videos, and I have one Etsy what sold video. I am newer to Etsy, still learning, trying to figure out that platform, trying to build up my feedback. So hopefully there will be more of those in the future. If you go to my playlist section, there are um, playlists if you want to look up like certain things. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I don't know if I already said that. If you made it to the end, comment, I made it to the end. And tell me below what platforms you sell on, what your favorite platform is. And um, if you're thinking about branching out to other platforms, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.